good morning children today we start our next lesson that is fourth lesson sorting materials into groups and in the first uh, three lessons we were discussed about the variety of foods in first lesson variety of uh, components present in food in second lesson and in third lesson uh, lesson we have studied about the different uh, clothes and uh, what are the different materials which we use to make different types of clothes and in this lesson we are going to discuss what are the different properties of materials and we know that there are different objects we are using in daily life and these objects are made of different materials and in some of the objects are made of more than one material okay children and for example you are using pen pen is made up of plastic and some pens are made of metals and you are using book that book is made of paper and you are keeping books inside different types of shelves the shelves are either made of uh, a metal there are different metals or it can be made of wood or plastic type of shelves so these are the different materials or so we can say that we use different materials to make out different objects and in some objects we can see two or three materials we just imagine a bicycle what are the different materials used for making this bicycle only metal no only plastic things inside no and rubber type materials are also included in cycle so cycle is an object it is made of plastic rubber then fiber type then some metals are iron so some metals are also used to make out a cycle so cycle is an object it is made of combining two three materials together clear and what in this lesson we are going to uh, talk about what are the different properties of these materials mud is a material metal is a material uh, paper is a material wood is a material rubber is a material liquid is a material solid is a material liquid uh, gas is a material and we make all the meti- uh, objects around us by using materials and what are the different properties of these materials or what are the different properties so different objects are having different colors and the objects are different by their shape and objects are different by their uses so uses of every object is different and we use utensils or uh, vessels for taking uh, water cups or small type of tins or small type of uh, vessels we use to or uh, take water but we cannot use paper to hold water or paper to take water and we cannot use any clothes to take take water clear so we have different uses and for different uses we are using different types of material and we cannot make dresses by using rubber we use always and uh, we cannot use uh, dresses made of plastic 
because we and we are using different types of materials or clothing material to make out dresses so it depends on different use of that so these are the properties and different objects are having shape different objects are having different colors and different objects are having its particular use okay according to that we can sort the material according to their color according to the size or uh, shape and according to the uh, use of the object we can arrange the object when you go to a grocery shop or in a uh, hypermarket or a supermarket you can see the arrangement all the liquid type of things are arranged in a shelf all the uh, cereals are arranged in a separate side okay all the solid materials are in one shelf okay all the round shaped in some uh, in some shops it is arranged by shape in some shops it is arranged by color or it uh, in some sh uh, shops it is arranged by um, its use all the uh, liquid uh, liquids which use for washing purposes it is in a special side and all the soaps in a special side clear or all the plastic thin things or all the metals in one shelf like that we can see arrangements in different shops even in even at our home we are arranging the things things in kitchen we are arranging all the materials we used for cooking purposes in one area the all the plates or all the utensils we used to eat the food in separate area and the uh, vessels we used to make out the different of uh, food or that is made by uh metal that is in another area like that we we need this we need this arrangement that help us to uh, use uh, the uh, objects very easily so arrange the things we can take it out very easily so we can see them in an order and it is very easy to handle them if the things are arranged in an order so we call that arrangement as sorting and by color we can sort by uh, shape we can sort by the use of the object we can sort it out okay children and in the textbook in page number um, 26 and 27 up to the 28 up to the heading appearance you can read now and after that i'll give you the um, work okay thank you